Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am not here with Geeky Sparkles, but we're going to talk about another ginger. We're going to talk about Mary Jane Watson in the second Spider-Man game for PlayStation. Apparently, uh, Mary Jane has been beaten with the ugly stick. Well, she actually looks very old and uh, not as attractive as her model. Again, this is another example of Western game developers uh, taking female characters and and uh, turning them uh, ugly, I guess. I don't know, making them old, making them look not attractive, not as attractive as they could because they don't want to be accused of uh, turning these characters into eye candy. Even if the actresses that play them, the motion capture uh, actresses or voice actors are much better looking. And we've seen this in The Last of Us, uh, just a handful of games off the top of my head. Uh, the Last of Us, uh, Horizon, uh, Mortal Kombat 1, especially, uh, Tanya, she was like, what What the hell? Oh, right, Fable, we did that one too. Fable, uh, Japan did not like this, and now they've come for uh, Mary Jane. Mary Jane has been through a lot, hasn't she? Like, hasn't this poor girl suffered enough? She had her marriage annulled by the devil in the comics, <laughs> and... And, uh, you know, she went through a whole bunch of stuff recently in the comic books, too, where she had, like, a whole other family. And then she got, like, super stupid powers. Like, I don't, I like, she's, like, jackpot or something now. She's got powers where she just gives, like, random abilities, like a freaking video game character, speaking of which. So we're going to talk about this nonsense again. This is just another AAA developer going out of their way to make sure that the women aren't eye candy. And the biggest comment is that she looks way too old to be MJ. So let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, Geeky is not here to give a woohoo, but um, I will verify she is an actual ginger. And uh, this this conversation has been going on for a while. People said, now oh, calm down, everybody. Calm down. This isn't what she actually looks like. Calm down. They didn't change her. It's okay. No, she actually, this is what she looks like. And people are just like, hey, hey guys, why does she look so old? Again, this is what the actress looks like, the played her, and she actually looks like Mary Jane. Remember, Mary Jane Watson, uh, aka Mary Jane Watson Parker, in the comic books, was a supermodel. She was a model. And an actress. She was pretty attractive. And uh, for some reason, they just don't think that, um, <laughs> not that she looks terrible, but she looks very, very average. You know, uh, she looks very average, especially when you compare her to, oh my God. <laughs> oh God, this is great. Okay, well, we'll get to this. We'll get to this. Um, so let's go to this Game Rant, Game Rant article from a couple months ago. Because this is, this is kind of funny. And everybody's trying to say, yeah, it's, it's fine, guys. Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is suffering from the same gross controversy as the Dead Space remake. There's plenty to be excited about with Marvel's Spider-Man 2. There is. I, I like the black costume. I think it's pretty cool. A portion of the fan base is embarrassing itself, just like it did with Dead Space. Uh, highlights. Marvel's Spider-Man 2, Mary Jane Watson Parker, has been criticized for looking old and not being pretty enough. Is this run by a woman? Richard, huh? Similar complaints were made about Nicole and Dead Space Remake. Well, and same with, uh, what else do we have? Uh, Diablo, Mortal Kombat. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. These criticisms stem from a poor grasp of what real life women look like and perpetuate the dated stereotype that women lose attractiveness as they get older. No, uh, there are some smoking hot older ladies. I happen to be married to one of them. But uh, uh, no, the problem is, this is what she looks like in real reality, right? This is what, it's an unrealistic stereotype of what women look like. This is what she looks like. This is what they made her look like. Calm down, everybody. The hate for Mary Jane Nicole's realistic design reflects how toxic some gamers can be. Oh my God, here we go again. Toxic gamers, like it's 2014. This isn't the first time that players have been critical of Mary Jane's design. Despite the character having a different backstory in Insomniac Games Universe, she's a risk-taking reporter instead of a flirtatious supermodel. Several gamers complained about MJ not being pretty enough. 
These gross complaints are nothing new, as unsavory figures on the internet have tried to fix female characters like Aloy and Fable's protagonist through image edits. Oh, really? Let's go see. Have they made them hotter? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you fix them? How dare you fix these beautiful vixens? Oh, my God. I... <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. You're not even outraged. You really aren't. You just know this is what people are looking for. You don't care. You don't fucking care. The sexism doesn't stop there with the sequel. So-called fans are arguing that Mary Jane looks old. A complaint that is eerily familiar to what was said about Nicole with the Dead Space remake. And also um, Mass Effect 3, I think, had some, some fuglies in it. Ever since Insomniac released the story trailer, the internet has been filled with posts about the game's character designs. While some players still refuse to accept Peter's new model. Yeah, they made him look more like uh, Tom Holland, I guess, didn't they? Uh, others have poked fun at Miles' updated look. It's Mary Jane who's been the target of most criticism. She is a model. And the actress who plays her is way hotter than they made her look in the game. And she does look old. I'm sorry. It's not that she's... There's nothing wrong with being older. There's nothing wrong. There are women who are very, very attractive who are older, right, than 22. The problem is, is she's supposed to be a younger character. She's, she's supposed to be a model, or at least she could be a model. This is one of the you know, problems with the, uh, the Spider-Man live action movies too, is they haven't really gotten MJ right. We haven't seen a proper MJ in live action, and we probably never will because it's problematic to have MJ be a model or, you know, look good enough to be a model. We can't do that because it makes women feel bad. <laughs> it makes women feel bad. Oh my God. Mary Jane's face model is the same in the sequel with better lighting and graphics doing a lot to convince players that she looks different. Further, many have failed to realize how much of a change in hairstyle can make to make a face look different. As such, Mary Jane looking older is a misconception. Even if she did, this would not be unrealistic. Stress is... Oh my God! <laughs> it's a fucking video game character! With every U.S. president being proof of that and being a brave reporter who's also dang a superhero would result in stress. She looks ugly because she's stressed. Because she's dating Spider-Man. If only... If only the devil would come along and take that stress away. So if they do one more day in the video game, is she going to get suddenly get hot again? <laughs> what the fuck is this? What is this article? She doesn't look old at all. She simply looks like a woman in her mid to late twenties. No, she doesn't. She looks older than that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, she does look older than that. With gamers complaining having a very poor grasp on what real life women actually look like because they've never touched a woman. Have you ever seen a real woman? Other than your mom. The entire situation. Oh my God. They're going on about the Dead Space remake. Uh, she's a woman in her 40s who works a job that requires a lot of stress and she looked ugly and blah, blah, blah. Look, this is an ongoing issue. It's an ongoing issue. See, look at that. She's a model. It could be, you know, this is an ongoing issue for AAA game developers. They literally are making women look as mid as possible because they don't want to probably offend the scores of women that are now working at these companies. They don't want to have Polygon come after them. Like, oh my God, MJ's tits are too big and she looks too perfect. Even though the real life actress looks like this. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there could be filters. I don't know. But still, I mean, this, this, this is her mother and this is her. I'm just saying. I don't think gamers are being unrealistic about this at all. I think that, um, you know, the character is the character and it's an ongoing pattern. This is not, again, this is not a one-off. We have seen this. I've done like three videos in the last year talking about how with so many remakes and so many AAA titles, they have gone out of their way to make women in games look as mid as possible. You know, I, I get you're going for realism, but it's a video game. It's escapism. 
You know, let people have their hot women. Let them have their hot men. Japan gets it. You know, Japan gets it. Uh, if this game were made in Japan, she'd, she'd be hella hot, right? It's just a video game. Just a video game. Holy hell. Here are the new character pictures. So all these characters. Um, there we go. She looks fine. I can tell. Yeah, I mean, she looks like Mary Jane, but it's just like, it's it's the the issue that preemptively gamers are being attacked, right? <laughs> gamers are preemptively being attacked for saying, hey, she doesn't quite look the way we pictured her in our minds, especially given the actress. And it's just an ongoing thing, guys. Uh, it's an ongoing thing. So I'm going to wrap it up. Um... <laughs> Again, I, I don't think I don't think Kirsten Dunst really looked like MJ either. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I thought she was an okay actress, but she didn't look like comic book MJ. We have not seen comic book MJ uh, properly properly adapted. So I'm gonna wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. What do you think? Uh, you're still gonna buy the game. I think a lot of people are probably still gonna buy the game. It doesn't matter what she looks like. Uh, the game, the get the trailer looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Hey, this isn't bad. That's not bad. All right, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.